hello, hello, mom and dad meet world. So we are out here somewhere cold and you may be asking, well, what is going on? This is a Mac mini video, an M2 Mac mini video to be precise. Not only is it the M2, but we've got the M2 base model that we are gonna be reviewing and putting through some of its work paces. But um, yeah, so we're out here somewhere cold. Take a look behind me. But anyway, let's get back to the M2 Mac Mini base model review. So what is up with the Mac Mini? So who is this Mac Mini for? So I think the Mac Mini is probably for people who want to get their literal foot in the door. Foot in the door for Apple products. So if you've already got an iPhone, if you've got an iPad, or Let's say you're just brand new to the Apple ecosystem, but really, really have been curious and, and you've been using PCs all your life. Well, let's step into the Mac Mini. If you are a student or a teacher and can get that discount for $499 and uh, Apple's 14 day, pretty much no questions asked return policy, I don't think there's, I don't, I don't think you can go wrong. Or even for $599, it's a capable device for $599. But is that 8 gigabyte, 256 gig model, the base model, is that the right option for you? Well, let's find out. Come on in. The Mac Mini sure is a small little computer, as you can see, can fit right underneath the desk. And um, you can also get a VESA mount for this thing. So if you've got a monitor, you can also fit it to the back, put it under a desk. Here are the dimensions. Feel free to go to Apple's website or to pause the screen right here. This is not very big at all. So one of the other things you can do, which is kind of cool, is you can actually use your Apple Watch if you do have one and you can unlock your computer. Here is Geekbench 5. These are the scores 1923, single 8836 multi-score, and then we've got an 8300 or so for uh, Cinebench, and then we've got 1400 write, 1500 or so read for the disk speed test. And then this is myself with a Final Cut workflow. Hello, hello, mom and dad meet world. So here we are, it has been a full work day. Um, I wanted to get with you on a little bit more of an in-depth review. So I have had the M1 base model Mac mini for a while. And now we have the M2 uh, base model Mac mini that you see there right behind me um, but here's the thing we're talking about workflow who is this who is this computer actually for and um, did it hit the right audience well I absolutely think that for 499 if you are if you are a parent looking to pick this up for your student if you are going to college if you've got use for a desktop computer this is an absolute steal of a deal for $499 you can go on apple apple.com click on the mac mini they've got the links to the educator site to where you can pick this up for $499 but if you are not and you are just looking to pick this up as i said for your first time mac computer for $599 this is indeed a very capable machine and it does have the capability to run a decent workflow so as i said i've been using this computer for um, more than a full eight hour day um what what do i have on it so um while we were utilizing all eight gigabytes of ram and we're utilizing all 256 gigabytes of storage again that's the base model um, it's got that m2 base and from what you've seen there, um, from uh, the, the Blackmagic disk speed test, is the SSD drive a little bit slower? Yeah, it's a tad little bit slower, but here's the thing. Will you ever notice? Probably not. Not in your everyday workflow. We're not, so we're not just talking about specs, but we're talking about real world, real life usage. And this M2 base model, um, it can 100% get you there. So, 2020. M1 base model M1 
Mac Mini comes out, I had actually picked it up, had a Thunderbolt monitor before 2020, picked it up, uh, I think picked it up for $200 used on OfferUp, and then it had been a while since I picked up the other one. Also got it for like $30, yes, $30 on OfferUp. So both of these monitors total $230 for two 27 inch Thunderbolt displays. So could not, would not work for the M1 base model. Uh, I tried using both Thunderbolt ports, um, Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapter. It did not work. Only one monitor would actually turn on. Both monitors would not. So with the M1 base model, you could still get one Thunderbolt display with an HDMI output. So another monitor that had HDMI out, that would work, but not two Thunderbolt displays. So just for, just for me being truthful and honest, got the second Thunderbolt display because I like the way they look and I think the matching pair adds a good aesthetic to the desktop. So that's why I got them. Could you get away with the M1? Uh, base model Mac Mini? Yes, of course. But here's the thing, for $100 less than the than the M1 debuted at, you are getting a much more powerful machine with this native right out of the box running. This is a daisy-chained configuration. So I've got one monitor, this one right here, plugged into the other monitor, then that cable is plugged in with a Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 cable plugged into the Mac Mini, only occupying one, not two, but one of the Thunderbolt 4 ports. So you've got a whole other port to hook up your high-speed storage. You want to hook up another dock. You want to hook up uh, multiple um, USB devices. Grab one of the uh, Thunderbolt docks. It'll split it up. You'll have one into three or four, depending on which dock you get. But if you don't, right out of the box, the Thunderbolt displays are phenomenal. They've got your built-in webcam, which you're not gonna to wanna to use a built-in webcam, but it's there in case you do wanna use it. You've got phenomenal speakers and a microphone, plus it does have ethernet. Yes, the Mac Mini also has ethernet, but you've got ethernet there too. And then you've got more, although they're USB 2 ports, they are USB 2 ports, but you do get a couple, I think two or three more of them on these Thunderbolt displays. So one more thing I did forget to mention, so the M1 Mac Mini is just the standalone uh, computer by itself. You will still need a keyboard, monitor, and mouse. So these right here, I honestly picked this up at the thrift store along with this. Actually, this might have just been an Amazon deal for like um, less than $10 or so. This is just a wireless um, USB Logitech mouse. And this is the Magic Keyboard uh, Wired. I actually really, really like this thing. And um, that's what I actually use. And then I've got another older keyboard, also an Apple keyboard that I think I'd picked up also at a thrift store for like a few dollars. So this was like $10 and the other keyboard was like $5. So if you've got a um, spare keyboard mouse and you don't have to use Thunderbolt monitors, you can use uh, pretty much any monitor with an HDMI. You can even use your TV as a monitor, but an actual monitor uh, will look best on your desk. So uh, HDMI or USB-C or Thunderbolt, you can use any of those monitors. The whole point is um, if you have these accessories already laying around, then you can just plug them in directly to your Mac mini and they will work. Um, and you don't even actually have to use an Apple keyboard. You can actually use a PC keyboard. The Windows key is actually going to be your command key. But uh, other than that, um, that was it. I installed uh, Microsoft Office, um, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, um, all that stuff on there works, no problem. Uh, everything you would expect, Microsoft Outlook, I've got Slack on there. Um, what else have we got? We've got Final Cut. We've got, from what you've seen, got all the, the, the benchmarking software on there. So, um, got photos on there. With the efficiency of iCloud and even with a 256 gig storage, we've still got a, almost 150 gigabytes free to make a video. And here's the thing. 
you make a video depending on how long it is um, I'll actually I'm making a video on this right now like literally making a video but yeah it's it's just a very capable machine um, Outlook regular email with the app anything office work internet email it's gonna get it done Final Cut Pro will it be as fast as a Mac Studio no but will it do the identical thing as the Mac Studio? Absolutely. When you get into the higher tiered models like the Mac Studio, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna do the very same thing this base model M2 Mac Mini will, except it will do it faster. If it were a different time where time was money and you needed the very fastest thing possible, yes, you're gonna wanna get a more, a faster device, but will this get you into the Apple ecosystem? Will this do everything you want it to do and then some? Yes, absolutely. So we're not talking about uh, your your mainstream gaming. No, you can go on to Apple Arcade. You can play uh, whatever games. But if you are into mainstream gaming, no, this, this Mac is not. And pretty much just about any Mac is not going to, to be your gaming system. We're talking about productivity. We're talking about office work. We're talking about uh, Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro works phenomenally well. Uh, I'm working with iPhone video. I'm working with Sony a7 IV 10-bit 10 10-bit 10 video. Um, it works very, very well. And as I said, the one thing that is a big upgrade from this over the M1, again, well, you've got the price. Take that back. You've got the price, $100 cheaper to get into this thing for the same specs with the more powerful chip. But then number two to me, that was really, really important. You've got dual Thunderbolt display capabilities right out of the box, literally daisy chain, plug one into the other, one cable, Thunderbolt two to Thunderbolt three adapter. Boom, only using one Thunderbolt port. This is really a great deal. And Apple markets this to people, to everyone. And is it for everyone? I believe so, yes. So, long and short of it, if you are looking to get into the Apple ecosystem, if you need a computer to supplement your MacBook, or if you're looking to get into it, into the Apple ecosystem for your very first Mac computer, this is a great foot in the door to do just that. Highly recommended. Um, check out other reviews, but um, the use of the dual Thunderbolt screens that alone is worth the price of admission. Yep. What do you need two Thunderbolt screens for? Well, um, working on different Excel documents, a couple different documents at a time. If you want to, well, multitask, you're multitasking your heart out with two displays. So anyways, this has been the M2 Mac mini review video. Um, if you like what you saw, if this helped you out, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time with more reviews. And um, yeah, let's get out there. Let's do a little bit of traveling. Thank you.